uh, a word of um, caution, tabulator has many versions and the one that um, is supported by uh, the at the time of the recording of this video, the uh, UI table uh, version, um, the tabulator version is version 4.4. So just make sure that whenever you're looking at the documentation, you're actually looking at uh, version 4.4 or um, if that gets updated, if that gets updated, um, then you um, just uh, figure out what version it is uh, that is being uh, supported by a table and look at th that documentation. So having said that, um, the options for uh, configuration are here in setup options. So if you click on that, you will see all the uh, initialization object options. And for example, the column definition is, um, uh, all the options are here. So you can see columns as an array, um, et cetera, et cetera. Another, uh, so, so here are the, the some of the options, but another really important um, piece of the documentation is the call are the callbacks. So the callbacks are similar to any JavaScript or Node.js uh, concept, is there are events that you can, um, that you can define a, a custom or a different, um, function or functionality than the default for tabulator to suit your needs. Uh, for example, there is a, uh, let's just check the, co the column, uh, callbacks has a header click event. So if you want to do something or, or, or be alerted when the user clicks on the header, you can define a, a header click callback, which receives the uh, uh, event object and the column that it was, um, that was clicked uh, as, as parameters and then you can act accordingly. So one of the uh, um, uh, one of the callbacks that I'm using is in the um, in the uh, sorting callback, which are not that many, um, and it is the data sorted callback. This is the second one from the top, and it is essentially um, triggered after uh, a sorting event has happened, which for example, someone clicks on a header to, to sort uh, the temperature um, in uh, ascending order, for example. So uh, a wealth of documentation, but the, the, the main two areas are the setup options and the callbacks. All right, so after that uh, tabulator detour, let me go back to the table initialization function and show you some other um, interesting implementation details. So there's this data sorted callback that I mentioned. So how one in uh, Node Red would define the function is actually, you see it here, is not as a function object, but it is as a, as a string. So, um, this is just a, a string that contains the, the function that I want to uh, use when a data uh, sorting event has happened. Um, and in the um, NoRed forums, there was a good suggestion that as you're developing the function, uh, sometimes it's easier to put in a function node or, or you can use, it, uh, use an external editor, something that will allow you to, uh, uh, to develop the uh, function um, business logic in a more same fashion rather than try to uh, write on a on a string, uh, which is sometimes uh, really, really hard to debug. But so you define the function this way, and then uh, in this case, the, uh, I just call it uh, the same, just because I'm lazy and I don't want to write too much uh, data sort, the object's called data sorted, so I just include it uh, once. And you can see other uh, custom functionality that I'm using is the uh, sorter, um, callback, which um, gets called uh, when a column, in this case, the temperature has to be uh, sorted. So in table two, uh, just to make it slightly faster and also to display, uh, to sort of highlight this functionality, the temperature gets, um, it's an HTML object actually where um, 
just to give some color is if it's uh, a cold temperature is blue, if it's a sort of mid-range temperature is green, if it's a hot temperature is red. But the problem is that then sorting them, uh, we want to get the number out of the, um, you know, get rid of the HTML tags and just sort by, by the actual temperature number. Uh, so that's what this uh, temp sorter uh, function does. Another slight um, benefit of defining the table this way is that, as you can see here, I can use uh, Unicode characters. This is the Unicode characters for the uh, degree symbol and degrees Fahrenheit, uh, to my knowledge. And as, as far as I can tell, if, if you uh, put a Unicode character in the UI table um, edit uh, pane, it does actually it does not come out as, as, as Unicode. So slight benefit of describing. Um, the table uh, this way too. So that's uh, how the the table is defined, and you can see. In, and again, you can review the uh, the function, uh, the two uh, callbacks at your leisure. But uh, let me scroll back. So one thing that um, it's important to highlight is that if you want the callback to send a message out of the function node, you can just do a this.send, uh, which is, uh, if you've written any custom node, is essentially the same as the node.send, right? So this, this will just send an object in this case, um, which I'm showing here, uh, oops, uh, it's, um, it's, it's sending a payload, which has the sorting, um, the, the current sorting, uh, object and um, the IDs of the um, of the table as they are after the data has been sorted. Uh, so, um, so once the table is initialized, uh, that message gets sent every t a startup when the, the flows uh, start or when there's a dashboard refresh um, uh, event which, uh, as I mentioned before, can be um, when uh, one changes tabs or when actually the dashboard page gets refreshed. So any of these events will send the initialization object to to the table uh, in the UI underscore control property, and that defines the table. 